Red Dice Diaries here and I'm making a short video to answer Matthew Dawkins, the Gentleman Gamer's question in the YouTube RPG Brigade Facebook page. Now in his series of questions, the first one he asks is, if you could run a game for anyone in this community, which game would you pick and which players would you want in your game? You don't have to fill the table, just pick your star players. Now there's a lot of different people in the RPG Brigade that I'd like to run games for, from such alumnus as Matthew Dawkins himself to Tim Harper. There's also people like David Daniel Drucker, I've had the pleasure of talking to a few times in the comments sections of my videos, or I'd quite like to run a game for, to people that I already game with, such as the Chief Moran, Matthew Bryan and Jenny Green who I game with in Sean Connor's excellent Warhammer Fantasy roleplay game. I'd love to run something for them. And also to give Sean a bit of a break from the sterling GM work he does for us. There's also people such as David Sems and Alex Gillett and Rob the Swamper Davies. I've already had the pleasure of GMing a one-off game for Alex and Rob and playing in one run by Rob himself. And I'd love to run something for them. In terms of what I'd like to run... I normally tend to run either sort of fantasy games or World of Darkness games. So it'll probably come as no surprise to people that I'd love to run a game of Mummy the Curse for people. I'd also like to run some things such as the God Machine Chronicle, which I very much enjoy. Uh, its latest spin-off, Demon the Descent. Or the precursor to that, Demon the Fallen, since I love World of Darkness games that allow you to play with that whole notion of time and use lots of narrative devices such as flashbacks and other such things to really build a sense of history around a game. I'd also quite like to run a Vampire the Requiem game but using some of the ideas out of the Dance Macabre book since there's a number of suggestions in there for tweaking the system and bringing something a bit new to the mythos of the vampire, so I think that would be quite a challenge, and I'd love to give that a go. In terms of the fantasy idea, I'd love to run some Warhammer fantasy roleplay. I'm playing in a game run by Sean Connors at the minute, and very much enjoying that. I'd love to give that a bit of a go. Also, to the more sort of simpler, easily ready-to-pick-up-and-play rules, I'd love to run a Dungeon World game for those people. This is really a, a very simple game and I think would really, not to denigrate it anyway since it's also a very enjoyable game, but I think it could very easily be picked up and played in an online game. However, one of the games that I'd most love to run purely for personal reasons at the moment will be this, Advanced Fighting Fantasy. This is um, a, a very nostalgic game for me since I still have my original, slightly now battered old copies of Advanced Fighting Fantasy and spurred on by some of Jenny Green's videos I have recently purchased most of the newer re-released line and I I love the whole world of Titan, the, the continent of Alansia that it's all set in, the city of Black Sand it was one of my first exposures to the idea of a fantasy world that you could actually game in so I'd love to run that for the people that I've just mentioned. The second question asked was if you could play in a game run by anyone in this community which game would you pick and who would GM? Now I'm a massive fan of the the fate system as I'm sure anyone who watches any of my videos will be aware however I tend to do far more GMing at the moment than I do actual playing. So I'd love to actually play in a Fate game run by someone I've been lucky enough to play in a few one-offs. Uh, one run by Rob Davis I mentioned earlier. And I'd really love to give some more of that a try. Uh, I'm a fairly low crunch sort of fan when it comes to rules. I prefer rule sets that don't get too much in the way of actual the actual game and my enjoyment of it. So which I know sounds a bit odd given the fact that I've suggested several World of Darkness games there, but I sort of classify them as fairly sort of medium crunch, to be honest, whereas something fate core would be on the sort of low end of it. Um, so anything where it's got a rule set that's easy for me to pick up and that I don't have to memorise vast streams of rules would be great. Uh, in terms of 
who I'd like to GM my ideal game. Uh, I, th there's so many people I'd quite happily sit in a, on a game that we're running on. I, I'd like to see um, I, I'd quite happily sit in on a, a fighting fantasy game run by Jenny Green. I'd love to be involved in that. Uh, I'd obviously love to see one of Matthew Dawkins' World of Darkness games, or perhaps try some of the the games that I've not really heard of that much that um, Tim Harper mentions and does such a good job of putting forward in his videos. Uh, I, I generally try pretty much any game, to be perfectly honest, as long as it was in a setting that interested me, didn't have a massively overly detailed rule set, but the, the concept for the game interested me, basically, and the players could have some input in it. Those would be my only real conditions for wanting to play in a game. The third question that the Gentleman Gamer asks is, in the above scenario, who else would be playing in your group? Now, it, it, it's, a, it's a bit of a tricky one, this, so I've not really, I've not really set out any sort of preferred genre, although I do tend to prefer the sort of darker genres, whether that be darker fantasy or the modern horror of the World of Darkness setting. So I think you definitely need players who would be able to role play within that genre. But I don't think there's any shortage of people in the RPG Brigade who would make an excellent job of playing in a, a game with a, a darker atmosphere. So it's, it's extremely difficult for me to pick an ideal group of people since there's also, as well as all the people I've already mentioned who are all great role players and whom I'd quite happily jump into a game with without any hesitation, time allowing, there are probably also hundreds if not more people out there in the RPG Brigade and the wider net whom I've not yet heard of or not yet gamed with at all and who are probably great role players themselves and I'd, I'd, I'd quite happily give anyone the benefit of the doubt when it came to playing in a session with them. Basically if I've got not got any reason to not want to play with someone I'll quite happily join a game with them. So there's my answer to the questions, albeit somewhat fuzzy around the edges, you'll have to forgive me, it's quite early here in the the UK or it was when I started this video initially but hopefully some of these games spurred on by Matthew Dawkins questions will actually get up and running I think it's a great idea and it's nice to see something positive and constructive being posted on the brigade <laughs>